It was supposed to be a place for people to gather, enjoy food trucks, hang out. Instead, it looks like this, and it's going to for some time. A group called the Lincoln Park Young Professionals back in 22 got more than a half a million dollars in grants to transform this lot on Avenue D in Fort Pierce. But this week, they asked the city commission to pull the plug on the lease and with it, the project. So where does all that money go? Some of it did go to construction. How much did they pay you for the work that you did? My bid was somewhere in, I think, between four and 500000 and it was maybe 20% of that. Joseph Cooper was the contractor hired for the project. He tells me the young professionals ended their relationship sometime last year. These stakes in the ground, evidence of the survey work by Cooper's team. So that involved um, getting ready for uh, sewer connection, putting in drainage. Cooper called me from an international vacation. Uh, I'm very alarmed and shocked that they stated that I couldn't finish the project. This after WPTV got an unsigned email response from Rooted in Change, the nonprofit linked to the young professionals, saying they were trying to get some of that money back from Cooper through litigation. You never got a letter from a lawyer. No, we never, never, never. Tax filings by Rooted in Change list a Venice Gilmore as the principal officer. That same name is also listed on the Fort Pierce website as the city's assistant planning director. Hi Venice, my name is Jamie Ostroff. I'm no answer. I also visited City Hall to see if Gilmore was there. The security guard said she hadn't seen him all day. As for where the grants came from, $500,000 was awarded by Allegheny Franciscan Ministries, whose tax filings show a payment of $358,000 to the young professionals in fiscal year 2021 and 5,000 in 2022. The unsigned email from Rooted in Change says, we are waiting for Allegheny Franciscan Ministries to give us guidance on where to return the remaining of the unused funds, but also goes on to say they never received that $500,000. The nonprofit did not respond to follow-up questions. Jamie Ostroff, WPTV News Channel 5.